This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Guys, we're going to do the monthly market update right now, and I'm going to read off some data for you guys. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, what's been going on in our market. As Rick started the conversation, I want to expand on it. Uh, right now, I'm talking about just single-family homes. Now, when Rick talks, he's talking about all properties. But I'd like to talk just in terms of single-family homes because that's what the majority of my business is in. And uh, I'm going to read off some numbers first, then we're going to look at some charts. First off, currently available single-family homes, 3,502. That's down a little bit from last month for the first time in about six or seven months. Pending, uh, 4,142. That's about the same as last month. Sold in the last 30 days, 3,269. Again, just slightly above last year. Um, last month, I mean. And our current months of inventory were at 1.07. That went down from 1.18 last month. The average days on market is 22 days right now. So that's that's the basic stats. Now let's look at some charts. I get my stack chart out. This is the one I use every single month. And what this shows is single family homes and the activity of single family homes uh, throughout the year. And each of the months is color coded. So what happens here is right now we can see that we've just about caught last year and we're in October. And we've got two months to go. And it looks to me like we could have a, still have a chance to break the records that were set in terms of volume back in 2009 and 2011. Now, remember, back in 2009, 2011, prices were probably somewhat under half what they are right now as we were dealing with the short sale crisis at that time. And we were selling homes at very, very low prices. Now we're selling homes at what I would consider to be normal market prices. Uh, but we're still going to have more volume in terms of homes sold this year, maybe than any year prior. This one shows the months of inventory, and you can see it just it, it crept up to 1.2 recently, and now it's just dropping down. This is a line chart. And then the next chart, this shows the median and average sales price of single-family homes in our market. And they went up to 410. They went up again. They're starting to level off, though. We're, the, the, bit, yeah. the spike is not going quite so vertical. It's going a little more horizontal over there to the right. And then let's go to that last chart, because this is something Rick had mentioned, and I wanted to talk about this. The, the volume of condo and townhomes is huge this year. We've already uh, surpassed, well, sur last month we surpassed last year, and we're, we're on course for a record uh, number of volume in condo and townhome closings as well. Now, this is my chart. This is the one I, I started doing about a year ago. And what this shows is our basically available versus sold line charts. And what it shows is that right now we're coming back to about a break-even point where we have basically a month's worth of inventory. Right now we have sold 3,502. We have 3,269 uh, available. You know, we're right about at a month. We're, we're, we're coming back to the point where we, we're seeing very tight inventory. And I don't know if it's going to be a trend or not. We'll, we'll have to see. That's only one month of a turn right. there right now. So. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at lvrealestateradio.